Good evening. Tonight I am going to be doing an Aries Racies net for Hillsborough County. And for those of you who are interested in ham radio and might be wondering what being a net control operator is, um, this will be a good uh, good example. You should, I believe, be able to hear everything. So uh, we are just about to start. I've just given the um, intro, which uh, or the uh, heads up notice that we're about to start. And it is 7.30, so I'm about to start it right now. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Kilo X-Ray 4 Hotel Delta. My name is Rodney. I'm located in Lithia, and I will be your net control operator for tonight's session of the Hillsborough County Aries Races Net. This net is the official net for the Hillsborough County Amateur Radio Emergency Service Organization. This net meets every Tuesday night at 1930 hours local time with the purpose of encouraging amateur operators to prepare for an emergency, to practice amateur radio communications, and to provide up-to-date information relative to emergency communications and relative acti or related activities in the Hillsborough County area. All amateurs are invited and encouraged to check into the net. Please note the W4BCI repeater requires a PL tone of 146.2 Hz. For information about Hillsborough County Aries races, please go to our website, hillsboroaries.org. Break for time. This net is always open for emergency traffic. Anyone with emergency traffic is advised to break in at any time. Any stations with emergency traffic, please call now. And this is a period where should we give callers a brief opportunity to to uh, break into the net just in case. Okay. We will now accept check-ins from stations with announcements. When you check in, please come slowly. Give your call sign in standard phonetic format, followed by your name, location and your club affiliation. This is a controlled net. Please direct all calls to net control. Net control will acknowledge each station as received. So please wait until net control has acknowledged the prior station before transmitting. Any stations with announcements, please call now. I read from a script just to make sure I don't overlook anything. Good evening, Dana. Go right ahead. Thank you, Net Control. I wish to make all stations aware that the scheduled classroom style Skywarn spotter network training classes have been completed for the season. These classes will resume again in November. Operators can still take the Skywarn training class online. Please go to These are the different organizations that call and give their messages. This one happens to be a training message about training. Dana happens to be about five miles from where I'm currently at, but we're hitting a repeater about 20 miles away from both of us. In our network, the repeaters in downtown Tampa. So the um, radio listeners and participants of this network are about 30 to 40 miles max from that repeater. So that gives me 60 to 75 miles roughly away that people can be from this. This is one repeater. 
CDO, our executive there's also a coordinator, will offer a two to three hour long um, hand turn on radio for a moment. There's also a uh, radio network, repeater network in our area, which is also used by Aries during an emergency. And with that, I can communicate with people about 150 miles to 200 miles from end to end. We have seven repeaters that are network tied together. Winlink is a topic I'm learning right now, and it's very important for emergency operators. It allows passing of email traffic. Um, best used if you have a general license, and you can reach a hub hundreds of, hundreds of miles from where you're located at. With the, uh, I'll do a discussion on wind link later, but it's a very important topic. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Dana. I'm sorry, I got off channel for just a moment. Um, okay, next station. Um, let's see. Are there any other stations with announcements? Please call now. There are no other announcements, so I'm going to do a request for general check ins. Okay, this is KX4HD. My name is Rodney, Net Control. We will now proceed with general check-ins. We encourage and welcome all operators to check in. Any stations wishing to check in to the Hillsborough Aries um, Races Net, please call now one at a time. Please give your call sign, name, and location. General check-ins, please call now. Good evening, Randy. Got you loud and clear. Thanks for checking in. Next station, please call now. Connect control. Connect control, this is Kilo 4, Delta Golf Golf, K4DGG. Name is Doug. I'm in Sun City Center. No traffic. Good evening, Doug. Another good, strong signal. Thank you for checking in. Next station, please call now. Good evening, Bob. It's another very strong signal. Thank you for checking in. Next station, please call now. We usually have about 10 stations. That's a bad signal. Okay, caller, that was a that was a real uh, uh, noisy signal. Can you please try uh, one more time? I could not pick up a uh, could not get your call sign. I could hear a voice, but couldn't couldn't understand your call sign. I heard part of.
part of it. I okay. Uh, I I heard part of it. I I could make out Sun City Center. Um, you're coming in with a lot of static. Um, but uh, I could not get your uh, call sign or name. I'm sorry. Okay, Judy, I got you that time. Still a lot of tra noise, but I could hear you better that time. Thank you for checking in. Next station, please call now. I still couldn't get the full call sign, but I got her name and I can look it up. Another weak signal. Okay, last caller. I apologize again. I, that was a lot of noise. I could not even uh, could not even hear a voice at that time. I could just hear the uh, hear the noise. You want to try one more time? Now this can be the difference between someone calling in with a handheld of five watts or a more powerful radio. I'm running with about 20 watts right now. Okay, next station. Please call now. Okay, Timothy, I got you. I can hear you loud and clear. I just got a little bit behind on my uh, on my note taking. Could you repeat your call sign? I got everything else. Okay, Kilo Bravo Eight Alpha Foxtrot Sierra. Okay, Roger, Timothy. I got you that time. I got you loud and clear. One thing, could you tell me what uh, where you're calling in from? The notice asset. Okay, got that. Thank you very much. You had a very good, strong signal. Thank you. Next station, please call now. Okay, I'm going to do another call for uh, more stations. Okay, again, we are looking for general check-ins for the Hillsborough Aries Races Net. We have any other uh, folks wanting to check in? Please, uh, please call now. That's nine. We usually have around ten people. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close the net now. Okay, this is Kilo X-Ray 4 Hotel Delta. My name is Rodney, net control for the Hillsborough, uh, Hillsborough Aries Races net. Before I proceed to close the net, are there any other or any rechecks or stations with further comments for the net? If so, please call now. Net control, this is N4HCA with a comment. This is one of the areas. This was the first speaker. Hey, Dana, go ahead. Thank you, Net Control. I want to uh, welcome uh, Bob Kilo India Four Quebec Alpha Alpha and Timothy uh, Kilo Bravo Eight Alpha Fox Truck Sierra. Uh, we don't hear from you frequently, and you may be new to the net, so I just wanted to welcome you and, and say thank you for uh, uh, checking in. Hope to hear from you again. This is N4HCA, back to that control. Okay, thank you, Dana. Um, before I close now, I'm going to ask one last time, are there any other stations wanting to do check-ins or, uh, or further comments? Check-in process takes a couple minutes just to make sure. Okay, not hearing any other stations, we will now proceed to close the net. 
I want to thank all the stations who participated in tonight's net. We will thank BCI Communications for the use of the W4BCI repeater. I will now close this session of the Hillsborough County Aries Racy's net at about 7.45 p.m. and return this repeater to normal use. Good night and 73 to all. This is KX4HD clear. And that's it. We may have a little bit of chatter afterwards. Now this is usually chatter between a couple folks that are talking after the net. So they're talking directly. Okay, this is Timothy. He, his group actually runs the repeater. Okay, so this is the group that controls the yeah, repeater. Thank you. Yeah, we've had our uh, technicians uh, from the company uh, up there every so often doing some tweaking here and there. As, okay. Uh, so they'll go ahead and do a little bit of chattering in the background. I'm basically done. So what we've had, and apologize for the glasses, I'm actually in a very bright area um, right now. Um, so the control net, everything focuses through the net control operator, which tonight was me. Uh, this net runs once a week, and it runs um, on Thursday nights. And we alter different control operators. So my night happens to be the fourth Thursday of the month. Um, the purpose of a net control is so that one person is centrally like a hub in control of who's communicating back and forth and uh, taking notes, uh, taking traffic if there's traffic. Traffic is messages, taking messages and then forwarding the messages out. Um, after we control close the net, hang on, just want to make sure that's enough for me. Okay, so folks give their call signs back and forth um, to identify themselves. That way, if there's a problem, um, the folks can be tracked. So anyway, so tonight, uh, the, the Aries net is an emergency net, which runs for Hillsborough County. Uh, we use the W4BCI repeater, which is centrally located. If there is a event like a hurricane that affects a much wider area, we may switch over to the NI4CE repeater network which covers a much wider area. But that repeater network's also um, used by other nets quite often. In fact, there's a net that's probably running on it right now. So we use a smaller um, repeater to do these practice nets. Um, so anyway, so you just, uh, you just listened to a uh, net control for an Aries net. Um, it took about 15 minutes to run. We had about nine people check in. In the nets that run on the NI4CE repeater, there are commonly between 30 and 40 people that check in on uh, in a net that night. And the net will run 30, 45 minutes sometimes, usually about 30 minutes. So, uh, so that's it. I was running the net and I wanted to do a quick video, um, let you guys hear what it is uh, on Zello. Zello is a system that we use, by the way. I'm going to be doing some videos coming up on that. Uh, I do want to run some practice nets on that, but you do not have to be a ham operator, so you will not have a call sign on that. So uh, we'll come up with some sort of way for people to actually check themselves in and just to understand it. By the way, um, you don't have to be a ham operator to listen to these. If you have a small handheld radio, like a Baofeng radio, you can tune into your local repeater channels you usually have to find the the local Aries, which you can you can find that through the ARRL.org. Find out where the local Aries are in your area. It takes a little bit of digging into to find it, but it's not too bad. But if you can find out the frequencies that operate in your area, you can program your Baofeng radio to those repeaters. Now, if you don't program the proper PL tones and the radio correctly, you won't be able to talk. And if you don't have a license, you should not be talking anyway. Uh, but you can listen. So... If you are in an area where you've got some sort of emergency, something going on, uh, southeast we have hurricanes, um, east coast we have hurricanes. There are uh, last year we had there were the fires in California, and this 
just this spring there have been the earthquakes in California. If a major earthquake hits, you're going to have a lot of communications dropping immediately without warning. Nice thing about a hurricane, we've got days to plan. People go nuts, they go crazy, but you know it's coming. Um, it may not hit where they think it will have hit, but the people at least have a warning. But uh, during an earthquake, you guys are uh, you guys are in the earthquake areas. It's afterwards, so you have to be prepared ahead of time, not knowing the events occurring. But if you have the ham frequencies, you have a thirty-dollar Baofeng radio. You can at least tune in. You can hear what's going on on these Aries nets during a disaster. That you will hear an abundance of communication information. Um, in this particular area, last year we had a hurricane evacuation. There was a particular school, I've been told this twice about this school, where they said they don't want ham operators here, we don't need it, we've got our own radios, and everybody had in that county had a trunk radio system, and when the hurricane came through, it didn't hit them directly, but they still lost power, and the trunk systems went down. And you had hundreds of people evacuated out into these schools with no communications. Cell phone systems went down, regular communications went down, they were totally cut off. So they were cut off for hours. So ham radio is really, you know, it, it's old, it doesn't change a lot, but, and it does change a lot too, but the old radio systems are still the same. Anyway, that's it. Um, closing out this video. Appreciate everyone listening. 73.